Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Roborock Curevo Curve. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the app. So the app can be found either on Play Store on, on, or on App Store on iPhones. Uh, it is called Roborock and you can just install it for free. And while it's being installed, let's continue with the ne next steps which we need to do before connecting with the app. So the first thing you should do is place the dock in a safe place and plug it into charging at the back with the power cord. Then this light should light up. Then the next thing you should do is fill the clean water tank. So here are two water tanks after you open this lid. And uh, this is the dirty water tank and this is the clean water tank. So in order to fill it, just take it out. Now you can open this latch right here. And you should fill it just with tap water and uh, then close it and put it back in, just like that. Then you can close it and continue with the next step which is installing the main brushes to your robot. So the robot should be flipped over. Then as you can see here, there are two places to put your main brushes in. So take them, put them in just like that. So um, actually, I don't think it matters which ones goes where. So you can just put them in and they will start working. So now I can flip the robot over and uh, put it in the... Mm, you need to put it in the uh, charging base. So the buttons need to be pointing outside of the charging base. So it should be placed like this. Now you can drive it in like that. Then press and hold on the power button. Then wait until the lights here are steady. And now uh, you can take the robot out and click on the home button, which will return it to the docking station. And now when it says charging, it is inside of the dock. So it is correct. Uh, and now, um, since it has detected the dock and knows where it is, we can exit out of the dock. So to do it, just click on the home button. Emptying dustbin. No, actually, actually you can just take it out. So let's take it out because we need to continue with setting it up. So the next thing um, should be flip it over. And here you need to open the main brushes. Then here you can see them. So uh, they just need to be, um, they just need to be, um, make sure that they are not dirty. So uh, if you're buying it used, make sure they are not dirty, then put them back in. Uh, make sure that the red one goes into the red slot. Then the gray one into the gray slot, just like that. And close this door right here. And now uh, you should continue with um, making sure if you also if your robot is used, open this lid and make sure that the dust bag has been installed. So here's the dust bag. If it's not installed, then you can easily take it out by pulling this part and then put. Um, 
put another one in if you need to replace it. So this is how you do it. And now we can continue with um, connecting to the app. So let's open the app now. Here is the app and we need to continue, uh, allow notifications. You can also not allow, but I'm gonna allow them. Then um, you can log in or sign up. I'm gonna sign up. Then um, I'm gonna quickly register with my email and uh, get back to you. So here, after you enter your email, you'll get the code to your email and you need to enter it here. And then you can just uh, accept the agreements about user privacy policy, then click on next, then enter your new password. Okay, so now I just need to click on agree and then click on add device. Now, um, when you click on next, it will open the camera so you can scan the QR code from the robot. So let's click on next, then allow camera. And now I'm gonna find the QR code. So it'll be here after opening this lead. Um, I think it automatically scanned itself. So now I just need to Press and hold both buttons on the robot until I hear the resetting Wi Fi prompt. Resetting wi -Fi. Now I should release and then in the app select I have had resetting Wi Fi and click on next. Then click on next and allow the location use. Now select the Wi Fi network you want to connect to your robot too. So it has to be 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi network. It cannot be 5 gigahertz. Then enter its password so it can be sent to the robot. Then click on done and click on next. Now click on connect to devices Wi-Fi so it'll connect to the robot's Wi-Fi. Now I'm gonna allow to uh, uh, find devices on local network. Now just wait a moment. Then click on enter device. I'm gonna allow Bluetooth devices. Then I'm gonna agree to the legal information. Now I'm gonna click here, click here. Then um, if you have carpets at your home, select that you have them. If, you ha if your home is multi-level, so it has staircases, then select it as well. And if you have pets, select it as well. Then um, you can enable or disable do not disturb mode and other settings, so I'm gonna leave them as they are right now. You can also enable map saving, so I'm gonna disable that. And now here is the app. So that's all for today, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you next time.